the people of Bridley Hill helped start the Industrial Revolution. They began to build and dig. They erected dwellings, chimneys, mines and steam hammers that cast long shadows in the morning sun. The dawn's skyline silhouette stretching like fingers that clawed an ever-growing circle until there was no dark or light. The industry poured fire into the sky and smoke into the air until it was red by night and blackness obscured the sky. Today the sun rises in a clear sky and over a new future, a future where local people have begun new life, establishing innovative businesses along the waterfront where the foundries, forges and steam hammers used to beat. Now there is a new pulse of enterprise, education and leisure following the canal towards the town. The sun ripples on the water and dances towards the high street where new transport networks will soon carry people along the viaduct to and from the town. As the rays catch the windows of our town centre, they touch on familiar historical buildings which have survived the change and remain to reflect each other in the early light. Look up from the ground. Follow the dawn into the sky and turn your heads to see the light sun up on the hill where the briar roses can sometimes still be found. See the churches rising up to meet the dawn. Today at St Michael's Church we celebrate all that has gone before and all that will come in the future. Today we ask you to join us and welcome in the new dawn from our beautiful town in Briley Hill Dawn. Originally built in 1765, it's the town's oldest building and it's where we will be welcoming the dawn today. But for now, let us begin. Let us find that view. Let us take in the atmosphere and be in the moment of now. To help us do that, we have the wonderful Helen Barley, who will be playing harp for us live from outside the church right now. Wait a while as Lockgate sentinels stand in silence. They observe my towpath history that laid the foundations of wealth and respect. Those same guardians once counted freight to and fro, backwards and forwards, horse and engine, coal and steel, limestone, glass and forgings, along the eight where traffic noise is now strangely subdued. Extraneous sounds of cushions somewhere. Somewhere between the seconds that recount cutting fleeting glimpses of boat and barge. For in this place time stops. For momentary reflections. I see it all again. As if it was only yesterday. Wow, thank you, Helen. That's amazing. How did that music change your experience? What did that do to your view? How about that? Having a harp in a graveyard just is superb, isn't it? Thank you. And it's not over there. We've got um, a choir now from Christchurch in Quarry Bank. Christchurch is uh, one of the churches that's on their virtual tours that you can take part in over the next couple of weeks. Um, We've got them singing for the beauty of the earth, which actually you wouldn't tell, but was recorded on Zoom in individual pieces and then put together at a later time. Uh, it's incredible what uh, lockdown has enabled us to achieve.
thank you to the Choir of Christ Church. Uh, it was absolutely beautiful. St. Michael's is the church where the bells ring out, you know? It's 25 years they were silent, but they were brought to life just a couple of years ago and are now a very welcomed addition to Friday nights and Sunday mornings when they can. When the tower was reclaimed by local residents and newly qualified bell ringers, Tim and Jenny Sunter, they came across a dusty box hidden away. Inside the box, there were 150-year-old handbells, which I'm delighted to say you'll be able to hear now. As we're honoured to announce that we have three nationally recognised bell ringers who will be playing them for us. Introducing Simon Linford and mother and daughter Vicky and Elizabeth Wilby, who is just aged nine. beautiful to think that you know only a couple of years ago they were just sat in a box and um just wasting their time and, and now they they can be heard once again in the church so thank you very much for for ringing them and well done to tim for finding that dusty box you know and refurbishing them so they could be appreciated so that's great so the sky is getting lighter now and as we approach sunrise in just a few minutes we ask you to take your place to join the experience as you take in the next few magical moments, we invite Helen to play for us again. So back to the graveyard of St. Michael's, we have Helen Barley with the harp. Riley Hill dawn, the sun is up and the light is pouring in our windows here at St Michael's. How many dawns has this church seen? And how has the building changed in those years? How many stories could it tell? <laughs> 